Happy Village. Today we are going to have a 12 Powers meditation experience here in the 12 Powers Garden around the iconic Unity Village Tower that is also water tank. Uh, <laughs> and I decided, you know, there's that time when about the burning bush and Moses when uh, when um, God said to Moses, take off your shoes, this is a holy place. And I subscribe to the idea that everywhere is a holy place, but I am choosing to walk barefoot in this place this time. And so let us allow ourselves to be in this meditation. Um, we're gonna show there are 12 power um, sculptures all through this garden, so we will show those side meditation or an open eye meditation or a boat. And so we start here with the power of faith. And we breathe into what does faith feel like? Faith is the knowing of things unseen. And so let us just feel I allow faith And as we walk with faith, we move on to the power of zeal, the vitalizing power, the thing that puts oomph in our journey. And so let us feel the power of zeal in every cell of our body, alive with energy and movement. Enthusiasm, zeal, onto the power, the attribute of power. And power is about speaking our truth. Power is about self mastery. Power is about being able to learn and grow and come into alignment with the truth of who we are. Stand in our truth. So, Maybe our affirmation today is I stand in my truth and I speak my truth. Walk with clarity through the garden. We are moving on to the attribute of love. Love is that power that harmonizes and brings together all things. And so we allow ourselves to be filled with love and attract the things that are ours to attract be clear about them. And so our affirmation, I lovingly harmonize with that which is mine to do and the truth of who I am. Ever 
forever centered in the love of God. That's the affirmation on it. I am forever centered in the love of God. And so we walk on this holy land from love to wisdom. Love and wisdom are so closely linked. Wisdom is our ability to know what is Maybe if we're in a difficult time, we call on our power of order to know that things are coming into alignment. So order can be our knowing of alignment. It can be our knowing that even if we're in the winter of an experience, that the spring is coming. And you probably noticed the spring is coming here.
wind coming through, a great thing to remember that we always have things to let go of, to make room for more wisdom, more joy, more life. And so we breathe into the power of release, calling on our wisdom, calling on our love to know what we want to call to us, calling on our wisdom of what is ours to release, and allowing the release to happen freely, gently, with wisdom. saying on this statue says, I release my past, my fears and cares. I let go of the struggle and strength. I surrender to this moment. I open to the divine flow of life. Yes, yes. So we move from release. Can't see what it is yet. It's really very exciting when we get there. Imagination. No, understanding. Excellent. <laughs> move on to the power. See, isn't that funny? Understanding? I didn't understand. Um, and our power of understanding is about seeing the big picture. Wisdom is about knowing what to do or discerning what to do. Understanding is about having um, a grounding in the knowledge that is required. It's having the grounding, the space to make decisions. Because with better information, we can make decisions. And so we call on the power of understanding to come forth with what is ours to know. We call on the power of love to attract that. We call on the power of release to let go. The power of faith to walk forward. And so we fill with understanding. move from understanding the power of will. Will is about staying on the path. It's about making a decision and keeping with it. It's important we use our power of wisdom and our powers to make the decisions, but will is making the decision and deciding to stay with it. Not to be willful, but to be willing. Step into the things that are ours to do, even if they're a little scary, even if they're a little uncomfortable, we know what's ours to do. And so we call on our power of will to do those things, to help us be brave, to show up as our best selves. So we call on our power of will. So we come to our final power for today. Well, final power, and that is imagination. Imagination is our ability to see. And so we couple that with the power of the faith. The power is the faith to know and move forward. I see the imagination is the ability to dream, to create, to see what's possible. Our faith helps us know and to walk in that general direction. Uh, our imagination takes us beyond what we've seen has happened, but in the past into what is possible in the future. And so we use our power of imagination. What to what if? What if we did this? What if we could find a way to create a world that worked for all? Could we see and once we see it, then we can start, start to walk the faith path. And, and so we call on our power of imagination to allow us to see beyond the, the false 
vision of what is here and to see the truth, see the truth of the kingdom, see the truth. And so as we come to the end of our 12 powers walk, our 12 powers meditation, we remember that these are attributes and things to call on. The truth of who we are is always the presence of God within that is in everything and everyone all the time, always present. And so I hope that you enjoyed being grounded in this place with me in this moment and go forth and call on these powers and this groundedness at any time.